Hey, what's up everybody? It's Hightower and Axial Matt here. hey -o. And today we're taking a look at Monopoly Streets. Yes, Monopoly Streets. Best game ever. <laughs> yes, this game, you know, totally brand new and hyped up and stuff. Definitely didn't come out like months ago or years ago. <laughs> totally or... didn't. It's not like okay, uh, Michael made a rage quit for it a while back. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, that Rage Quit was my entire inspiration for buying and playing this game. <laughs> I basically just downloaded this because you guys said it would be fun. And then, what, we spent about an hour and a half playing it? Yeah, we, it like... we spent a good bit of time playing Monopoly. I, well, I mean, you know, bringing a new kind of fresh-looking spin to Monopoly is yeah. pretty fun. I, re I really like how it's not on a board. They, like, sort of envision it into a world. It gives it more life. As well as watching you sail around on that battleship is pretty cool. I actually, actually, I remember when I was a kid, I tried to build a life-size Monopoly board in my backyard. Uh, long story short, if you live on the East Coast, don't try doing that in a hurricane season. Just, just a <laughs> side note. <laughs> yeah, we, we we just get cold and rain over here. We don't get any severe weather. Yeah, yeah. Fucking lucky over you over there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it's covered in snow over here at the moment. Dude, I would so kill much somebody that... for snow right now. Yeah. But then no, I, I was supposed to go back to my uni room, but the snow stopped me, so, you know, I'm still stuck at home. I've just got to stay here and play on my Xbox. So, see, now now you're playing mm. Monopoly with me over the internet. See, there you go. It all works out. It, it all works out. But, yeah, this is, welcome, of course, Monopoly. Everyone knows Monopoly. But this is, like, a more fun version you can play online. We were playing it with no. Steve Sayer. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, big, big shout out to him. He uh, yeah. gave up first. And then, then me and you continued playing for about another <laughs> half hour. And he sat there and watched us. Yeah. He had to watch as I slowly kicked your ass. That that, that must have been a I was trying enjoyable for. I had all the train stations. You got you got so fucking lucky <laughs> throughout that whole thing. I'm still pissed off. About I, it. I did I really... just keep landing on chances and community chests, and it just kept giving me shit, which is really funny. Yeah, they really would. They'd be like, "Oh, hey, high tower, do you want two hundred dollars? Here you go. Hey, Matt, <laughs> suck a dick, and then just slap me in the it face." It did basically and... favor me, and I still somehow managed to fuck it all up. Uh, I I, don't even I it was it was fun though. I, yeah. I legitimately had fun. I think, I think the I thing that betrayed me was trying to focus on getting all the train stations instead of actual properties. Well, hey, you like trains. Well, yeah, I got the achievement, I like trains. Yeah. But I had, like, no properties, and then you were building hotels, and then I landed on one of those and was just completely fucked. Yeah. So let's take a look at some achievements. Well, there's Winner. This one seems a bit obvious, but it's Win Your First Game of Monopoly Street. Just looking at some of the ones, we've got a list up here. There's one for rolling triples, because there's, there's, I think there's a mode you play where you have three yeah, dice instead. There, so. there, there is a mole, or a, a mole, a mode, where, <laughs> where <laughs> shut up, <laughs> <laughs> there's a mode where you can have like, uh, I think you can have three dice, or there's one where you can have like a special dice that's uh, got a unique ability to it, like I think you can advance the nearest unowned property. Yeah. So like, that's really cool if you want to just kill computers, I think. If I remember right, yeah. it sucks though. After all the properties own, because then it takes you to one that you don't own. Yeah, which normally is like, oh hey, look, they built a hotel there. Why am I going there? No, stop, please, God, no. And then you're just you're out. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's one. Ex expensive property. Acquire the most expensive property in the game, which on my British version of the game is Mayfair. I think that's that's Boardwalk. Boardwalk. <laughs> I don't even. What, what is Mayfair? Well, I don't know. Some of these I recognise. I know there's Trafalgar Square. That's a real place. I'm guessing Leicester Square is probably a real place. I don't know England. Leicester I, I, Square. I, I, I lived in Dunwich my whole life. I've never really been to Birmingham, and I've only been to uni for about three months, and I haven't really even explored where I'm currently supposed to be living. So, Pro promise me one thing, High Tower. One day I'm going to go to the UK. You and me are going to find Leicester Square, and we're uh, going to put a hotel on it. I'm down for that. Okay. Just stand, we'll just stand there with Mono we'll just get a board, Monopoly board and play <laughs> and be like I'm playing Monopoly on Leicester Square hey look <laughs> I bought Leicester Square <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll be honest or You're maybe it's skill there's not no, it's, skill it's, it's luck <laughs> unless, you, unless you somehow know how to force the dice rolls well I mean you and your bastion shirt I, uh, I have uh, I have hacked my uh, you know Monopoly so <laughs> I think I think the other thing we kept laughing about was how I had different names for everything yeah. because I had a localized yeah, you're, version. You're, you're, you can, I, see, that's what I need to watch this because yours is like super tax, mine's is luxury tax, and like yeah. I, I don't know what was it. Leicester Square it like, is my favorite one. <laughs> I was reading all these street names, and you and so you were just like, "What? No, it's not that. It's no, this." And I was like, "No, it's this." Was like, "No, Leicester Square." Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we were just laugh, we were just laughing at that for the whole game. <laughs> 
That and I like how my guy jumps on the battleship and just like casually like looks like he's making smooth love to it while he's going down the street. <laughs> Steve drives his car around, and then I'm just running across the street chasing my top yeah, hat. I, I, know. I, I think it's a cool thing though, like the custom animations and stuff like that. It's a it's a nice yeah. little thing that kind of makes Monopoly bearable, I guess. If that oh, I just re- I realized you remember we kept pressing, we just kept spamming those emoticon things. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm doing it here. Yeah, I, I can see it on the footage. I'm doing for, it here for Susie Poo to get done. So we just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you can get bored and do that. So obviously, great game, great game. Yeah, but here we are at the end of the game. Got the Monopoly man, and this is you winning. Me miserable. Yeah. <laughs> Soof just doesn't care because he's been sat there for half an hour he, he watching left. us He left it. really early in the game. He just kept going. I'm like, I don't know why. He just shut down suddenly. I thought he would have kept going. Yeah, but... I would have. Well, no, he didn't. No, the reason he didn't keep going was because he didn't want to let us get his property until we bankrupt him. So he was a dick. That's the whole reason he didn't keep going. <laughs> so, you know, shout out to you, Susie Poo. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's Monopoly Streets. It's already out. It's probably been out for a while. Yeah, I, I bought it off the games on demand yeah. marketplace. But head to achievementhunter.com for more videos. <laughs> but yeah, head to achievementhunter.com for more videos.